So in the previous video, we had discussed regarding NG switch structural directive. So in this video, let's discuss about another directive which is very important that is NG class directive. So let's make use of NG class directive in order to apply styling for our web page. So suppose I am having a requirement where wherever there is an event which is early, that is 8 a.m., this early event should be displayed in green color. The late events which are going to occur should be displayed in red color and other normal events should be displayed in orange color. So I have to apply these three colors whenever event starts at 8 a.m., starts at 10 a.m. and starts at any other time. Okay, let's handle this by making use of ng class directive. Okay, so initially what we have to do, wherever there is an early event, I have to trigger a function for this by making use of ng class directive. So inside square brace, we need to use ng class, which will be equal to, I'm going to trigger a function over here so that green color will be displayed wherever there is an event which starts early, that is at 8 a.m. Okay. So let's name that function as get start time class okay similarly for late event i want i also want to apply ng class directive and trigger a different function for this okay so let's copy this paste it over here and just change the name of the function to get late time class Okay. And finally, the default case. For default case means it doesn't apply for 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. It's not an early event. It's not a late event. It's a normal event. In such case, I want to apply another function. Okay. So let's make this get normal time class. So later now, for all these functions which we are declaring over here that is whatever we are calling over here the functions which we are invoking over here have to be provided implementation inside our class okay let's do that next okay so before doing that we have to apply some styles for these of for these events that is early event late event normal event so these for these events let's apply styling by making use of styles over here okay styles inside square press so let's define here dot green and the color which i want to apply for green is light green okay and i want to specify another thing over here by making use of important okay so what does this mean if you are using making use of this not of important over here for this style it means that this color cannot be overridden whatever we are defining class over here that is green under styles cannot be overridden that is what it means okay similarly i want to specify for other two colors as well that is orange color will be orange similarly for red the color for this will be red okay so now we have defined styles for these colors green orange and red next thing what is pending over here is whatever the functions which we are invoking over here we have to provide implementation for it so for get start time class let's provide a condition such that whenever an event occurs at 8 a.m it should be early event and this early event should be displayed in light green color right so let's provide that inside our class so inside our class let's define the function here get start time class okay and for this function let's provide a condition over here if this dot event and this dot event dot time if this is 8 a.m 
is 8 am then i want to return an array containing two classes okay that is green color should be applied and i want to apply bold as well okay i want to be this color to be displayed and the font to be displayed in bold okay so let's define that bold also over here okay so dot bold let's define that bold as well styling font hyphen weight will be bold okay so we are applying these two styles over here by returning an array of here green as well as bold both will be applied okay both will be applied for the event where we are calling this yeah, yeah, function we are calling this function for the start time event that is early event if it's an early event and if event time is equal to 8 am then these two should be applied these two styles to be applied that is what we are defining over here similarly we have to define for others as well get start time class we have defined uh, implementation now for others as well that is get normal time class the name of this you can apply anything that is like user defined whatever you wish you can apply okay if this dot event there is no extra condition over here why because we are not having any condition for a normal time event means any time any case which is a default case which does not lie for 8 am or 10 am will be defined for normal event right so we are not applying any more conditions over here only single conditions if this dot event then return array of orange color i want to apply and it should be displayed in bold and one more thing if this is not applied we are we also need to specify over here an empty array return empty array this is also very important right so return empty Similarly, we have to define one more function over here. Similarly, for late, get late time class. Okay. And here I am going to specify this dot event and one more condition this dot event dot time. So, this time, if it's a late event, what time we have to put a condition? It's for 10 am, right? So, 10 am. I want to return an array over here with two classes that is red I want to apply styling as well as I want to apply bold okay and return empty so now we have done necessary changes for this such that whenever it's an early event based on this switch case this message should be displayed as an early event and this early event message should be displayed with get start time class function which we are calling over here by making use of ng class directive so this get time start get, get start time class will come over here which will invoke here it will check for the condition if it is 8 am apply green color and bold okay that is how this works now let's see the output how we how this will be displayed on our web page so let's compile this by making use of npm space start. So our project is getting compiled over here. See, it got compiled successfully and hosted on localhost colon 4200. Let's open the browser localhost colon 4200. See, now you can see the output over here. So where, whenever the event is an early event that is 8 am it is displayed in light green color the message whenever it is a late event that is 10 am it is displayed in red color whenever it is a normal event that is not 8 am as well as not 10 am then it will be displayed in orange color over here this is the message this is how we are going to apply styling for our web page so wherever we want to display some message we can display based on color which we want to display over here by providing conditions over here by making use of 
ng class directive in order to apply styling okay we have just specified what color has to be displayed and what what is the class name for it if it's a green class then this color we are going to apply like that okay and this class we are making use here by passing inside an array what are the classes which we want to apply we are providing inside the array okay so that's it for this video guys this is regarding ng class directive thank you so much for watching this video please like comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos thank you